Guys, we're back for another beer in the Lord of the Dank competition. And this one comes to us from Aiden at 1490 Brewing. And check out that label, it's got to be full marks right there. Absolutely fantastic, Aiden. Um, so it's called Dankster Wrap, the hop hopumentary, clocking in at 7.5%. Uh, says featuring Columbus, Simcoe, Cascade, and Centennial. The hardest group you've never heard of is back. That sounds absolutely fantastic. And a big, I think that's a big 650ml bottle there. So thank you very much Aiden. Let's crack it open. So it came out of the fridge about oh, five, oh, maybe ten minutes ago. So it's probably still a little bit cold. But we will pour it up. So we've got the big IPA glass for this one. Now I'm not sure if this is bottle conditioned, so we'll just take it slowly. And maybe even leave some in the bottle, I think. Let's see how we go. Yeah, especially if it's a 650. Maybe it's only 500, but I think it's a 650. So I'll just leave a little bit in the bottle. So check that out. Beautiful colour. That's a burnt orange, if ever I saw it. Stunning, stunning colour, um, beautiful um, creamy cap on the top, uh, doesn't look like it's going anywhere and the bubbles are absolutely streaming up, hopefully you can see that, so that is fantastic Aiden. Um, yeah so we'll, I've got a score sheet here but what I'll do is we'll just um, go through the, the beer, aroma and appearance, flavour, uh, carbonation etc and then I'll do some marking but um, let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, straight away. First thing that hits me is those hops. Real fresh, juicy hop aroma on the top. Real nice combo of um, yeah, citrus and orange, maybe grapefruit, and then maybe some um, sort of stone fruit. So, because Aiden's put in quite a few different hops, what was it? Simcoe, Simcoe, Columbus, Cascade, Centennial. I think there's some Amarillo in there as well, if I'm not mistaken. Smells absolutely fantastic, and then I'm getting um, a nice touch of uh, sweet malt. Beautiful aroma. Fresh and juicy is how I'd describe it. And um, yeah, little sort of hints of pine as well. But not really, not so much dank on the nose, I don't think. Could be wrong, still quite cold, so um, yeah, let's crack into it. Thanks again, Aiden. Cheers, guys. Hope your week's going well. It's nice. First things that strike me um, after a couple of mouthfuls is um, once again the hops coming through really really juicy and fresh on the on the tongue. But it's also got a nice um, sort of creamy texture to the mouthfeel. Yeah beautiful mouthfeel to it. Um, bitterness is doesn't seem too over the top, it's quite moderate for a, especially for a seven and a half percent beer. Yeah, oh okay, I'm getting getting that bitterness now. Um but yeah, a beautiful smooth bit of bitterness that just yeah tapers away beautifully. Carbonation is good. I know it's screaming up in the glass, but it's it's actually um, it's a nice level. It's not too over the top. That head is not going anywhere. I believe there's some carapils in there, which is probably helping with that mouth feel and that head retention. And then I'm picking up some nice um, nice caramel sweetness. Um, but it's quite, it's nice and uh, subtle, not to sort of detract from the hops. Yeah, 
so nice sweetness up front on the tongue but then you get a real nice um, tapers away to a nice dry back end or dry finish which sort of just wants you to make you to go back in for more um, that is stunning um, yeah it's real nice sort of citrusy sort of um, almost like a zesty quality to the to the hops on the tongue um, yeah real a real fruit fruit punch or fruit bowl sort of um, combo there uh, what I might do is instead of burbling on I'll pause the camera there I'll do some marking and then we'll come back with some final thoughts so we'll see you very shortly Cheers. okay we're back for some final thoughts on Aiden's Dankster wrap um, call it a pretty much a double IPA at seven and a half percent um, First up, fantastic job, Aiden. Um, it's everything you'd want in, a, in an IPA or a double IPA. Um, super clean, and no off aromas or flavours at all. Um, so I've written a few more notes. So, so apart from what I said before about it being super juicy and fresh with the hops on the nose and in the flavour, I'm getting more of that resin and pine as it's warming up now, which is beautiful. And with that, I'm getting more of that sort of dank, dank quality that we were sort of um, hoping for in the competition. Um, beautifully balanced with the malts. Uh, there's definitely some nice malt sweetness there, but it's at a really good level as to not override the hops or vice versa. Um, yeah, mouthfeel's fantastic. Um, lovely mouth coating, um, dry back end slightly sticky on on the tongue as well um, yeah and all round really well made uh, delicious very easy to drink especially at seven and a half percent you'd have to uh, keep your wits about you uh, if I bought that in a shop I would be a very happy man indeed so hopefully that um, is a good sort of uh, recommendation or confirmation of how well this beer has been made um, a little bit of chill haze but not too much I think if I let this warm right up that'll uh, that'll go pretty much uh, clear or crystal clear so thank you again Aiden uh, top job um, yeah not much more to add personally I couldn't think of anything I'd change in the beer um, hops are fantastic Malts are really well balanced, um, looks great, good carbonation, great head, um, yeah, can't say much more than that, so cheers Aiden, cheers guys, thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you in the next video, over and out.